Hi, my name is Megan Jackson, and I will be discussing the impacts of honeybee venom treatment for multiple sclerosis. So what is multiple sclerosis? So multiple sclerosis is a progressive disease of the central nervous system, and lesions tend to appear in the brain and the spinal cord, resulting in symptoms to appear motorly, cognitively, and neuropsychiatrically. Um, some potential symptoms of multiple sclerosis are loss of vision, tingling, and numbness, loss of power in arms or legs, weakness or fatigue, and cognitive problems, although multiple sclerosis looks different for every individual that is diagnosed with it. Here is a physical representation of what it may look like to be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Here is an individual with a healthy neuron, and here is an individual with a damaged neuron. So how multiple sclerosis affects the body. So an individual's immune system attacks its own nervous system, specifically the nerve fibers in the myelin sheath in the brain and the spinal cord. This leads to scarring, which is also known as lesions, which then affects the individual's nerve ability to transmit nerve impulses to other parts of the body. So here I have examples of MRIs and you will see pop up in the screen highlighted. So that is an example of a lesion there. And this is another example of a lesion right there as well and right there as well. And so this is another MRI but of a spinal cord. And here you have a lesion right there. There is another example of a lesion as well. And there is one last example of a lesion. And so now we will be discussing the Apis mellifera. So this is the Western honeybee. And so the Apis mellifera are not native to North America as they originally emerged from Asia. The honeybee plays a vital role in our everyday lives as they pollinate plants and are responsible for our honey production. Some of the benefits that are made possible because of the Western honeybee are plant pollination, food preparation, antibacterial properties, wax production, and bee venom therapy, which we will be further looking into throughout this presentation. So key components of honeybee venom. So the variety of peptide and non-peptide components are what, are what is in honeybee venom, as well as enzymes and biologically active amines. So two of the major components are apamine and melatonin. And so the reason that these are important are, are important is because um, it has an inflammatory effect through its functionality on the anterior pituitary gland, which in turn may result in simulation of the cortisol production from the adrenal gland. And so basically both of these components are going to help tackle um, some of the major um, reasons that individuals with multiple sclerosis have the symptoms that they do. And so here I have a example of a honeybee dispersing um, the venom into um, an individual and what the different portions of what it would look like. So this led me to develop a question after looking into further um, information. And so given the benefits that Apis mellifera venom has on immunocompromised individuals, how does it affect individuals diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and the symptoms that they endure? And so my hypothesis is that because the components of honeybee venom have elements that have proven to address the areas of damage in an individual with multiple sclerosis, I believe that the venom is going to help alleviate minor symptoms, allowing these individuals to have a better quality of life. And so let's look into bee venom therapy. So in the first case study, we are looking into bee venom therapy for treating MS. And so Basically, here we have candidates that were enrolled if they had chronic, progressive, or relapsing remitting MS, and they were able to verify this by having MRIs done. And so the materials that were used were 60-day supply of venom and syringes, 100 cc vials of bee venom solution that was to be refrigerated, and 25 gauge hypodermic needles. And of course, they made sure to, you know, clean and sanitize the site of wherever they would be injecting bee venom. Um, and then the dosing consisted of the equivalent of a one bee sting. And so this is 0.05 cc's of bee venom solution. And so the initial dosing consisted of one injection every other day for one week. And in the weeks to follow, that is when the dosage is changed and they increase by one shot per session. 
And the way that they were able to gather their data um, was used with a combination of parametric and non-parametric tests through data analysis and interviews. So gathering statistical information based on how they were doing um, and both verbally having conversations with patients. And so the way that they were able to ask the patient's question and gather the statistical information was through the Related Observable Symptom Scale, also known as ROS. And so here you can see an example of that, which I pulled from the article. And basically this um, categorizes each symptom that an individual with MS may experience. So fatigue, endurance, spasms, numbness, memory, attention, mood, and sexual function for men. And so basically they asked the individuals to scale them on zero to five, zero being the worst, five being the best. And so the higher your score was, the better um, it meant because that means your symptoms were not as severe. And the lower your score was, that was not so good because that meant your symptoms were more severe. And so in this, um, case study, they were able to find that overall there were more than 68% of individuals that showed some kind of positive effect and 58% showed a noticeable improvement. And you can see this here. So this was taken after the individuals had received the B venom therapy. They conducted the Ross um, scale again. And so we can see that a good amount of individuals improved greatly. So we had individuals improve by 12 points, improved by seven to 12 points. And so they were able to show that bee venom therapy was beneficial in alleviating symptoms for individuals with MS. And so looking in the second case study, um, researchers believe that using melatonin in high low dose will alleviate the symptoms of MS patients through anti-inflammatory effects. And so the method that they used to conduct this research was through honeybee stings, injections, and acupuncture. And ultimately, their results were the same as the first case study in that they found that bee venom and the compounds that are found in it can be a modified traditional therapeutical method for the treatment of MS. And so here in this figure that I have, it shows the effect of melatonin and the other elements on underlying mechanisms of multiple sclerosis. And so it kind of shows um, the process that is going on. And so all of these are kind of things that are affected by MS. And this is showing the honeybee venom addressing these things. Now in this third case study, um, nine candidates were not allergic to bees and had a form of progressive MS were selected for the study. The candidates were between the ages of 21 through 55 with no other reported illnesses. And the method um, in which they conducted their study was structured through a one-year immunization schedule and their dosing contained of 25 milligrams of venom in buffer containing 50% of glycerol. Their statistical analysis um, contained of questionnaires, physical examinations, as well as hetermologic, metabolic, and immuno immunologic tests that were performed to see exactly how these patients were doing. And ultimately the results showed that out of the nine, two individuals showed objective improvement and two individuals managed to keep their symptoms stable. And so in this graph, you're able to see, this is from the third case study, that patient nine was able to improve after receiving the therapy. Individual seven remained stable. The same can be said about patient six. And fortunately, patient three was able to improve. Given all of the research that was presented in the case study, I have been able to find that apis mellifera venom affects individuals with multiple sclerosis in a positive manner. It reduces symptoms that are experienced with MS, such as fatigue, endurance, mood, numbness, and coordination. Honeybee venom is a treatment that is being used to better the quality of life for individuals diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and I hope one day it can eventually help individuals find a cure. Thank you for watching my presentation. Thank